What's up everyone? It's been a while. Uh, there's a lot going on in my life right now. This video is basically going to try, I'm going to try to condense it because I've done this video about four times right now. Uh, and try to get the point across. I'm going to show you through my actions, through this YouTube channel and the story that I create why the value added that you give me will be worth it when you do something. I think the whole point of marketing and sales is about trying to convince someone that they need something that they uh, that they don't need. Essentially what the key of marketing is, is trying to give something, to give sell something to someone that they really don't need. You know, it's the art of doing that. And you can turn that art, like everything is a tool, and you can use it for good and bad, whatever you want to do. But I'm not good at that. I can't convince something that I don't believe is valuable, I can't portray and ask for value and not have given to it or giving you ease that that value is for true value added. The value added will be in you believe in what I'm doing. So my video is just going to show it. So when I get the inkling, I'm just going to start putting out videos on my small things that I'm going through. Not financial advice. Though things I'm doing in my life. Now of course there is Compliance, as I'm, I'm, I'm y'all gonna, y'all gonna hear that from me a lot. Compliance, because I know they're gonna try to say something eventually. But they're not gonna change. They're not gonna stop me on my YouTube channel, because that was there before they were here. So there's nothing they can say and do to me on that, on that regard. But they want clients. This is how I'm gonna get clients. I'm going to show you why I'm trustworthy and valued and deserved to give a second look. You know, one of the funny things is, is that I've had to live my entire life that way. It's why I'm so empathetic in that regard. Because as a seven footer, as most people who are going to watch this video are going to know, what's the first thing that's going to come out of someone's mouth when they see when I walk up to them? And a good portion of you probably have done it before. Oh my God, how tall are you? Do you play basketball? Now, it's harmless. And of course, I answer this. I have no problem with it. But it's the stereotype. Now, some people try to acknowledge it, but regardless, they still have to say it because it's innate in ourselves. So when someone sees... Because most people who are seven foot play basketball. Statistically, that's the case, which is why it's put that way. Now, if I want to change the fact that I'm not just a basketball player, they watch my videos or they listen to me and see I'm very different than most professional athletes, especially. I feel like that's the only way I can get people to say, hey, I want to work with you. That's what I have to do to earn your trust. So, for a testament of this, because I'm sick of doing phone calls. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm so tired of phone calls. My social media is will be just bombasted with this stuff right here. We have my Obsession Media through my uh, my partnership with Obsession, which is my mentorship program I can have where I can put out videos. Um, um, it's very it's, it's very convenient actually because you will pay for the service and let's say it's more for sports but let's say they wanted to learn how to do something or something basketball related or they have a question I could either do it video form which is a little bit more or I can do it just regular video like this and I send it to you and I get paid like that in that way so that's how I can build a business. So that's how they build their business. And they have a number of athletes doing this. That's one way. 
Then we have the other way through Northwestern Mutual, which is me as a financial representative. And that's another way I'm trying to add value. Me as a real estate investor who just recently sold my house for double what I've sold, what I had it for. And for the seven years I've owned it, I've gotten rent payments for it. So I clearly made money on it. And I just went yesterday to talk to my tax account, my, my tax attorney, my accountant, my CPA. I know they're all different things, but I'm just talking. Uh, I knew I know exactly how much I'm paying in taxes. I know exactly how much to put away. I know how to clean. I know exactly how much debt we clean up. I know exactly how much I need to save for my emergency fund. And now I'm going shopping. I am currently looking for another place. There's one really, there's one I'm thinking about. That I don't know if I'm gonna do. It's a commercial. I'll have to get a commercial loan. It would take me from zero to potentially, potentially, 12 units, potentially. Zero to 12, I'll have 12 rentals, plus the garage, if I remember correctly. If, I, if what I'm seeing is true. But like I said, but that's a very low chance. I'm just speaking it. Because if I can, uh, mm, my credit score, where I'm gonna be at once I get my cash, I'll be in a very nice position to make sure I buy myself a nice business that I can live in. And I won't have to pay my cost of living anymore. That's how I move through my finances. So, and then I can build up my credentials and the finances and finance sphere, build up my credentials as an investor, build up my credentials as a basketball player, mentor, and then build my credentials through my media company on those three as pillars. That's what the reason for my YouTube channel. And hopefully the YouTube will pop all of it up through my business, through like when I start traveling again and playing basketball again, the the, hire, the the people I can hire, the people who I can hire specifically for videos and, they can and, and taking clips for some parts of my practice, certain parts of my games, my Twitch channel that I'm gonna wanna do. Having someone who can edit videos and teach me how to edit my own style to my own videos. Awesome, I can hire everything. Once I'm making the money, it, it's easy because I know how to cut my expenses and build my entire life into my business. And it, it can go down because my brand is the business. So as long as my brand stands where it is and I continue to do what I'm doing, which I'm confident in, and if I do sway, my audience should let me know. That's your job. As much as I might be stubborn enough where I might not want to, you're still going to let me know. Because then I'm going to be like, oh crap, my money's going down. I probably have safety net, but what am I doing? Maybe I need to change something. Maybe I need to be introspective. And how much money I'll be making will be directly correlated of how I treat people. And I think that's the most safest investment I can make because I know how I treat people. And most people who know me know how I treat people, which is why I built the audience I have already. So, welcome to... Um, I don't know what to call my, like, it's Ziggy Marsh, but I don't know what I'm going to call it. I don't know. I'm going to have to think of, like, like a company name I can call myself. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. Maybe seven foot, those something seven foot, some seven foot or businessman type deal. I don't know. Something, but I'm a brainstorm. But I hope I can build my businesses off my social media presence because I don't want to do it the traditional way. Like, they might even see this video and say something to me. Like, I, I will not put that past them. But if I can build business through a way that the strategic, rigid things are telling me I can't do, because I'm in a more special position these people than, than most of my uh, colleagues. I've, I've been following. I have, I've done things. I am interesting. I am marketable. If I use myself as becoming marketable, what, what can you say to me? Well, you can't market yourself because, no. So I can become more confident in building up what I intended to in the first place, my YouTube channel and my brand and my business. So welcome to Man, I'm trying to think of like some clever names right now. So 
it's all right. If you made it to this video, please, if it's Facebook, like, comment, YouTube, like and subscribe, support, please. If you like the message, get it out there. That's how you do it. You get it out there by speaking it out there. So get out there. I'm out.